Hey everyone, how's it going? We're just gonna we're just gonna wing this. Yep. All right. So we got some uh, we got we got some pretty cool runners here today. We got Australia, we got Team Seven, and we got this board. And there is a lot of hunting. I like this board. <laughs> I like this board. Okay, let's see. We got we got the Mystic Melody, it's Wild Canyon. We got Dry Lagoon. M2. Oh, we got Dry Lagoon M2. It's the stage. It's the IL. We got we got it. We got the IL. We got we got the IL comp. Let's go. We got two chat boxes and Aquatic Mine. Aquatic Mine hitless. Meteor Herd Hitless, Pumpkin Hill Hitless, Meteor Herd M2, Wild Canyon, All Missions A Ring, Death Chamber with a hundred rings. Oh, be still my beating heart. Okay. Gold Beetles in Dark Stages, so we'll be looking out for Ace and Lexi here. We got M5s. Got some, got, got a good old Steven Davis with Metal Harbor M4 and M5. Okay, okay. Okay. And of course, the good old classic, Tails 1 and Eggman 1, which is a little deeper than Bigfoot and Hot Shop, but here we go. So, oh. hi. <laughs> yep. Solo commentary is interesting, kids. All right. So where would I expect things to go? Um, no one's doing City Escape right off the bat. That's way too deep of a goal for one thing. We might see... We might see a quit out in Dry Lagoon and Wild Canyon. Uh, do you s just miss that piece? Options. I I swear I've seen. I don't know what he's doing right now. Story but... select. Um. Yeah. Is he just free running right now? Like. Okay, well, this is just practice anyway, so I'll just assume uh, that's why. Oh. 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 Oh, he's doing it. Oh, yeah, he's practicing hintless. Oh, uh, he's not going to find that piece. I saw that piece, and he's not going to find... Oh, no. Oh, no. Sorry about that, my mic fell. Oh no, to use. Use. Alright, he's back now, he's getting. Okay! Yo, monitor clip? Let's go, Piner. Uh, a little more. A little more sensitive. Okay. No monitor clip. Yo, Blue's gonna Blue's offering to hop on comms together. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> challenge. Okay, yeah. This is not an expert mode race. It is. That's that's later. Yep. 
challenge. Let's just let's get that in real quick. Australia versus Team Seven. Boom. Got it. We got the right thing. Thank you for being a real one. <laughs> All right. We'll see if she enters the uh, live channel. Uh, Sonic fan pointed that out. Yo, thank you, Sonic fan. Okay. Yeah. Oh, man. Hunting's gonna be so cool this time. I like seeing three hintless boards right off the bat. Three hintless goals. I need a. Uh, I need Deku versus Drum in Hero Story to not be Gentleman's Agreed for Race Mod and to be Gentleman's Agreed for Hintless because I think that would be great. <laughs> yep. All right. Yeah. Rip this. <laughs> Rip this. <laughs> All right. What else we have? Oh, did I even say egg quarters? Egg quarters is another hunting stage. Four. Don't have... We don't have death chamber, so we won't have to worry about looping for death row. Oh, hey, there's, there's the piece. Peace. Tell the hunting is what they're practicing. All right, it's been about long enough. I'm gonna go check and see if everyone is ready to go. Boom. Well, what do we have? Two Chavoxes in Skyrail. So Ace is in his home stage. Band Ocean M5 A rank. Yo, Blue, let's go. Surprise commentary. I wasn't expecting to be here today, <laughs> neither <laughs> anyone else. Story select. Yeah, this match just kind of surprised everyone that it was happening. I forgot that this was today. I forgot what day it was. Yeah. Alright. Okay. We are. I'm gonna give you a chance to look at the void and see how cool this is. Okay. So, what do we get? Uh, Death Chamber and one with 100 rings. That's gonna be fun. Uh, Wild Canyon all mission. Oh my. Oh my god. The entire top row is just. <laughs> what is this? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> That's like 20 hunting goals. I know. It's great, isn't it? Two child Wait, hold on. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, let's see. Gold Beetles could technically be considered eight. Uh, nine, ten, eleven. There's eleven. There's eleven hunting goals. Uh, I mean, you could technically consider to unlock Child God for all hero characters. 12! 80 <laughs> emblems is fucking- it's 13! <laughs> 13 hunting goals! We're gonna see a lot of hunting today, kids. Hope you like hunting. Hope you like knuckles. Hope you like rouge. Hope you uh, <laughs> hope the runners are warmed up in those, because, uh, you know, RNG's gonna be a bitch. Uh, <laughs> Right, so how's it going coming out of nowhere? Um, well, I was gonna play Kirby uh, while I watched this, but I guess I'm going to talk while I watch this instead. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Let's go. I always love to talk while watching. 
dope. It seems like... I, I feel like, um... Lexi is definitely gonna have a good advantage here out of out of all these four runners because I I know she has a lot of hunting PBs. Um, I don't know so much about the others. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I know Deuce likes to do X twenties a lot. Um, and then uh, I don't know anything about uh, Piner or Ace's hunting history, so um, can't really say too much on those but should should be fine yeah i just real i just thought yeah i just realized the hitless goals are gonna be interesting because i'm not sure about aces or the use uh, well, the uses or piner's uh prowess for hitless yeah I reader don't... reading is gonna be huge yeah. yeah also just general like peace layout knowledge Peace layout knowledge, um, making sure you're going for a piece two when you're looking for a piece two, stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, and if the uh, practice is anything to go by, like I'm fairly certain I saw a tip of the top of the arc it, while the use just drilled right past it, or yeah, I believe, mm. I believe it was that yeah. piece. But uh... you, you you definitely <laughs> want to keep an eye out for for those. <laughs> free pieces because they are very detrimental especially when you're not allowed to read hints <laughs> ideally you just get the eye outside and win the match but you know you can't have that i i can't wait to see this go to this somehow some way this could go to like cosmic wall m1 with 100 dreams or like lost colony m5 um, which, okay, so, like, it's not unreasonable to go for those. It's a little bit unreasonable to go for those. Um, you, you're definitely gonna want to see all the runners knock out the hunting goals, uh, first. Um, and then maybe Metal Harbor, because that nets you two goals. But then after that, it's just hunting, and then... more hunting and then like em emblem grinding i guess if you re if it comes down to that but that's fine anyways the runners are starting good luck do you send internet moment Intruder alert. Do you? i'm sure i'll catch up uh refresh yeah <laughs> Oh, there he goes. Okay, so, um... Looks like there's no CE goals. Um, well, th there is CE M5, but uh, M1 goals. <laughs> there's honestly not a lot of M1 goals here. Um, so, we're just gonna be seeing a race to, I believe... Uh, on the hero side, I think it's a race to Pumpkin Hill? And then, on the dark side... I'm having a brain moment. There are not that many early goals. Yeah, there's, there's really not. I guess Lost Colony, but yeah. Um, Piner hits the E-skip. Go, let's go. But, this could give the use opportunity to... Actually, no, this will give the use opportunity to get the... Uh, uh, unlock Chow Garden for all Hero Story characters goal. Um, because the use already has the Chow Key for this stage. And Pioneer has to wait all the way until Metal Harbor to be able to uh, get another chance to get into the Chow Garden with Sonic. Oh, um, yeah. So unless... Uh, unless Ace... Nice. Um, unless the use like really messes up here, um, I don't see Team 7 getting that goal, but um, it, it, that's not too bad, that's only one goal uh, for them. Um, and it, it is nice though for uh, for Australia to get a, a early goal on the, on the board. So something I'm thinking about is... We might, well... 
We might see a quit out for Metal Harbor, as that would be two goals right off the bat. I don't Should think that's the move, but we do tend to see a lot of runners uh, go for that combo if it uh, appears on the board, which it's here. In in a board like this, where all the all the goals are like really fast hunting missions. That's just a mistake, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Like, like there's, there's no easy way of putting that. Um, it, it's just like, if, if you quit out and do Metal, Metal Harbor immediately, you are making the biggest mistake of your life. Um, so, so I doubt that we'll be seeing that. Um, because that's just giving... Because you have to go to M5, or at least M4 for Metal Harbor. And that is a lot of time sunk into missions. Even though Metal Harbor is fast, that is still a pretty decent time sink, uh, giving your opponent the the lead for for grabbing these hunting missions. Piner grabs Knuckles' Mystic Melody, so uh, Deuce isn't going to be going for that. that Looks like uh, looks like Ace is in the lead over in Dark Story. Um, getting a little rolled by RNG. Thinking about it. Oh, nice piece. Thinking about it. I don't. Getting the Mystic Melody might help with Death Chamber later. I mean, it will help with Death Chamber later, but I'm mm -hmm. not sure that's something Deuce even wants to go for. How is that? Perfect? Like me? Um. So my theory is that uh, Deuce might know that since he's behind in story, it it's probably not going to change Those idiots will never unless he sacrifices one of the other goals, like two chop boxes in Aquatic Mine, or, or um, Pumpkin Hill and one Hitless, or something like that. Um, so we might just be gunning for like the missions now, at least in this state. Um, or he's just not thinking too much about it, and I am. Uh, that <laughs> that's a very very big possibility here. It is it is the first like what five minutes of the game. Anything could yeah. happen. <laughs> <laughs> so true. And Ace already quitting out to um, uh, show off the new the, the IL comp. Get that gold. Fortunately, not using the IL route. Um, can't use the IL route actually. I just remembered because he doesn't have the dig claws. Oh yeah, that's true. I don't- I don't know if this is smart, to be honest. This- No, no, this really isn't. Because now Lexi is in a huge lead to story. Yeah. Basically almost done with uh, Sand Ocean, and then Ace has a whole Sand Ocean to play. Yeah. So it's just like... Was that sm Maybe- maybe he was thinking that Lexi would also want to go for it, but... I, I don't, I don't know, if I were Ace, I would never see a world where Lexi would want to go for that at, immediately after unlocking the stage. What is Ace? What? Okay, restarting for that life? Going cyclist, so that's going to be a huge disadvantage. Yeah, this um not looking great for for the dark side on uh, Australia's uh team. The hero side seems to be looking pretty solid so far. Yeah. Uh wait. The use did not grab the chow key. Why? You no, let's go, Ace. You you don't get another tail stage till Mission Street to use. I mean, I guess I guess Piner also doesn't get another tail stage till Mission Street. 
So it's not that bad. Do you can just get that later? Well, on one hand, you know, it's probably thinking like, if Einer is gonna get it first, might as well not take that time loss, you know? Just uh, True. just wait it out, and then if for some reason Piner hasn't ticked off that goal, he's got two of them, so he can just mm -hmm. get tails later. That so that is true. Honestly, I I think it it might work out better for Piner, um, because at, at least in terms of this goal, because um, there is two chow boxes in aquatic mine and i think that's what they're banking on uh in order to get that gold but they're also not getting the chow boxes in metal harbor so i don't think yeah i, I just i just don't think they're going for it actually yeah Okay, that's uh, I, I think that's the second uh, golden beetle from Lexi. I'm not sure if Ace got uh, has two or three or uh, one or two right now. Uh, I know we did. I know we did Sandwich and Skipless, so I think he might have two. Uh, I wasn't yeah. checking. I guess, I guess I'll click it. Um, yeah, almost positive. Well, I guess it also depends if he's good at getting that gold beetle while going through sand ocean. That's true. You, you sometimes you do have to slow down for it if you're not like great at grabbing it. But uh, you could oh, failing red Honda. But but yeah, it, it, it's not too bad it, it's not like such a difficult gold beetle that you'll like fail it I've located Eggman's base and we'll proceed to Anchorage yeah now. um <sighs> probably gonna go to ace to if it. uh he did get the sand ocean one alright yeah looks like he's clicking it here we go yep and both teams are tied right now. Uh, we used to find our whole fit, uh, boss fight away, and Ace isn't too far away. And yeah, it's. Who knows? Who uh, knows? I, I guess. <laughs> Trail getting two is shoot is short, but I, I still don't. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Never mind. I I, I still think that's kind of gonna. <laughs> end up biting him in the ass, especially if, uh, with uh, shenanigans like this keep happening. I see getting Hot Chow, which is a pretty good piece. Um, looks like it's bad in this context, though. Kind of far. Piner now getting the uh How is that? Chow keys. Perfect, like me. Which isn't really the move. Mm, yeah. Okay. Considering the use already had him. So the use is playing Piner for a fool right now and getting some uh catch up. Yeah, and uh Oh, that might be. Uh, I, I mean, I'm sure that Deuce uh, just didn't uh, realize that he didn't grab the um, uh. Chow Key, but this, this is actually kind of good because this is uh, accidentally wasting Piner's time. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Lexi's on to uh, five hidden animals. No, no wall run today. So sad. Piner got a clutch one. Like pixels uh, above the water. <laughs> it was yeah. crazy. Yeah. 
hug for death. Also, should be looking out for hidden animals in Lost Colony. It, it seems like Lexi's been going for them. Uh, I think she has two right now. Gonna get this third one? Yeah, three. Alright, so Piner is going to have the lead here for Pumpkin Hill and one Hintless. Um, that doesn't guarantee that they'll get it, but it does definitely help because uh, hitless, uh, hitless missions can be can be pretty rough sometimes. Oh yeah. And also, oh, if if the use skips this. Which I, I would say do not uh, in this situation, but if the use does skip this goal, um, that would give him the lead for. What piece did Piner get? Um, that would give him the lead in story. Oh no. Um, no. Oh no, the use. The use. This is not the way you do it. Don't do that. Check for piece ones, please. Okay, okay, yeah. Looks like Piner's got the uh, second shout key. Alright, double container for the use. Piner's got the second piece. I was about to say, why didn't the use read the end, but. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right, okay. pretty good piece too. Not too far behind. All right, Piner clicked it, so yeah, Deuce... Piner clicked it. Um, please read the hunt. Yeah, do you go for a hit now? You do something bad. Oh, yeah, that would have been oh. tough. Oh, it's the bad one too. Yeah, this would have been really uh, rough. It's 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 the good one if he read a hit first. <laughs> but yeah, well. From there, it was the bad one. So true. All right. Okay, so Team 7 is up by two goals. Um, and with a pretty decent story lead. Uh... Piner might... Yeah, it, unless Piner gets, like, three deaths and a walk of shame... They're probably gonna get uh, the cow box here too, and then uh, get the gold yeah. for that. Um, maybe not as extreme as I I said it would, was. It's it's definitely a lot closer than it looks. Yeah, even but, one death is too huge. Yeah, like like if uh, if Deuce gets zero cycle and Pioneer gets uh, Walker Shane, then I think Deuce gets it. But uh, if that doesn't happen, then Pioneer's definitely gonna get it. Um, and then after that, it's going to be getting the two Aquatic Mind goals. Uh, and then... Honestly, yeah, probably just going to see a lot of story progress uh, on the Zero side. Maybe even, even the Dark side, too. Just, yeah. It's just haunting. What can you say? Unlocking the mission. <laughs> Oh, Piner. That was too close. Okay, Piner's getting first cycle. Uh, Deuce is not getting a Chow key. <laughs> okay, I, I guess just giving up that goal. Give up that goal, which isn't the worst idea, especially now considering where Piner's at. Yeah. But... I'm not sure. Oh, God, I, I think I think Australia like really wanted that goal. Cause cause now that they're at story disadvantage, um, giving that goal to Piner is like really bad because uh, that'll just uh, assuming that this lead keeps up, then uh, it it'll be a, a swift victory for Team Seven. 
Okay. Not sure if this is the idea. Ace is going for Exploitism 4. He went into Weapons Bed and got the large cannon. So he's gonna be working towards what, Lost Colony M5 or? <sighs> there's no. There's no way. I, I, I don't believe that Ace is gonna go for Lost idea. Colony. Because that's, that's the elevator two more times, right? Yeah. And, and, and then you have to do M2 and M3, which are still really long. It's just like, what what are you doing? If, 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 you're, if you're going to Lost Colony, yo, you're doing yo, it. Yo, we got it. wooden window on a wooden seal. Shelf, whatever. Oh yeah, that is a great oh. piece one. He knows he doesn't need to check for that. So already a pet of Piner now. Just gotta... Do all the checks. It's in long hallway. Okay. And why? How is that? Oh, How I thought Deus like was me? getting the Chucky. Oh. All right. Skulls looking at each other. That is really good. So this hey, could I either think... be ghost room or it's gonna be underwater. Uh, he's gonna go check. Mmm. Check ghost room. Yeah. Check ghost room. But yep, it's in ghost room. Where are you going? The radar's the other way. Ghost Deuce. room. Where, where are you going? It's Deuce. the ghost room. It's not in the top. You know... Oh my gosh. He's getting, oh, he's the getting top. the top. Okay. And Pioneer pulled ahead. That is incredible. That was the worst idea ever. I think... The youth still had that goal too. The youth already have... Two child boxes? I thought he did. I uh, no. Yeah, it was that one and the one in the top room. I th Where is the third yeah. one? Isn't that in like? I th I'm pretty sure there's two in top room and then one in. No, I and, think and then the one third the one's. I think the third. Um, no, the third one's in ghost room. Yeah, the third one's in ghost room on one of the. Sills up top, one of the beams. But yeah, like, that is uh, unfortunate for the use. I think I would have taken the missions. Yeah, I think I would have okay, taken okay. the chow box personally. But so this is actually going to be good for uh, Australia because they are going to be pretty much guaranteed this uh, Wild Canyon goal while uh, Piner works on Metal Harbor. Let's see, where can Deuce and Ace come from from here? So like, Ace is pretty much uncontested for, well, Ace literally just got a quote on four. So there's that. Ace is probably working towards Sand Ocean and Lost Colony, so that's five goals. Wild Canyon is six, which we put him close, but with no story progress. And then, where do they go? And here's I'm Sand gonna Ocean. be honest, I, I, hmm, this, this might be wraps. Oh, oh, oh. uh, it? Okay, Pine is going into Metal Harbor, which is a really good idea, because I was going to say, Deuce also has that he can go for, but now the Pine is going for it, that's that wasn't so hard. two more goals. And I think, well, Deuce is in M3 right now, I think Pine is also in M3. Um, assuming how fast uh, Deuce's Wild Canyon goes, he's going to be able to finish that, and then... Probably be able to get into Metal Harbor before Heiner finishes M4, which would uh, cause a lot of time loss, like 15 seconds probably. Or okay, no, Deuce just loaded in the wrong mission. Okay, so that's not gonna happen anymore. <laughs> yeah. Uh, taking Parakeet on the left shoulder. Okay. No time to hang out with the likes of you. That was is interesting. Or, um, 
is, is Lexi going for like cosmic wall? I'm Sky rail, I guess. Yeah. I just want to say it's always interesting seeing Wild Canyon M4 or Dry Lagoon M4 because most, or, well, even any missions in Dry Lagoon and Wild Canyon after you've gotten the dick because rudders sometimes tend to forget because they're so used to just uh, drill diving and getting a punch excel right off the bat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, muscle memory will, will do that <laughs> for you, the Dutch. Alright. Ah, he slowed it back into the story, it looks like. Decided not to go for Sand Ocean or Lost Colony, which good idea, but there's so much story progress that's been lost. Yeah, at this point, like, okay, I, I can maybe understand this if you think that you sniped Lexi to, uh, what, what was it called? Headquarters? <laughs> but, I, I don't know, I, I feel like this is just a misplay to go back into the story after this, at this point, because you've already made that commitment. Alright, so here's... Heiner just finished, uh... Metal Harbor M4. Yeah, gonna be and going they did, into M5. They did, they did tick, tick it off. I was gonna say, if they didn't tick it off, they could probably get M5 done while the use waste time, but... Nope, the use is straight in the story, so... Yeah, gonna be securing, uh, let's see, Death Chamber, uh, Meteor Herd if it gets there, um... What else? Yeah, those. <laughs> those are, those are the only, uh, hero story stages that they need left. Yeah... A Pyramid Cave M5 and City Escape oh, I didn't. M5. Um, M5. Well, City Escape M5 is... You can do that before unlocking Wild Canyon, yeah. <laughs> so... Yeah... It, um... I know Deus is having trouble trying to squeeze through the boxes in the wall. So he might be going for the flame ring and crazy gadget. There's no reason to go after that point, but you might see that. But yeah, at this point I don't just with all the dark progress I don't see Australia coming back from this. Yeah, I I think quitting out to do like the missions early um was just honestly a really bad mistake um at least on the dark side i think the use just kind of got uh kind of got rolled a little harder kind of just got slightly worse times um and couldn't couldn't keep up with piney which is like it, it doesn't it doesn't mean he played bad it, it just means that um piney played very good because I haven't noticed like any major mistake, uh, and honestly, I think I think the biggest difference was like Green Forest Wall Run and CE Skip. Because other than that, uh, it it was pretty close in the story. And there's M5, goal number nine. And Lexi's working on goal number 10 right now, so what's left for them to f cap it off? Um, let's see. I don't think there's much for Piner. Uh, they could go for City Escape M5, which... Yep. Yeah, they're, they're gonna be going for that. And then Lexi's gonna get uh, Sky Rail, which is gonna be 11 goals. Uh, and then 12 and 13... Can be Cosmic Wall, uh, and like, Final Chase if you really want to, you can just do Sand Ocean though. <laughs> yeah, I... Man, all the Dark Golds left are really long. Yeah, maybe, maybe Tails and Eggman 1 would that be good to go so for, long. for Lexi. Okay, yeah, Ace is okay. loading the Sand Ocean immediately, like, he does not yeah. want to... He's not going for the story goals. So... 
this match could be longer. Nope, never mind. Um, Lexi's going for the story goals. Let's go. Yeah, so yeah, Lexi's gonna go for Cosmic Wall. Yeah. In final shape, and that's just gonna be wrapped. Because yeah. there's there's no way that Ace is gonna be able to catch up with Lexi in time, especially after going for uh, Sand Ocean M5 and probably Lost Colony M5 at this point, too. Yeah. Um, and then Piner's pretty much done, just kind of chilling in the story. With with the use, and the use is about like half a half a route one one ahead of them, or them. Sorry. That's a interesting piece one. I, I don't I don't know how good that piece one is because you do have to die after it. Uh, which sets you out of 10 24. Nice grab. It could either be like really. It could either be really good or really bad. I think it's usually pretty good. So. I, don't, I don't know too much about that. Too. I think the dead fine could turn in. Love to see it. Ooh, a balcony. Damn! Okay. That's a great match base, though. How is that? Perfect? Like me? Oh, I didn't even notice, but Piner went back into a uh, story. So... I mean, I mean, what else is there to do? <laughs> they didn't escape. I mean, things aren't as quite away as they seem. And they might go for Pyramid Cave on 5 if the use doesn't also... Well, I mean, these might also go for it. We'll see who gets it first. So I think what... I mean, we saw Piner go into City Escape first. So I think... Uh, it, it's a safe bet to assume that the use is gonna want to go for CEM5. But, uh... Yeah, maybe it's not. I don't know. It, 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 it's definitely like a mind game here, because if, if you know your opponent, uh, you can, you can like, make assumptions on what they would want to go for. So like like if you, like uh, in, for my example, uh, when I was watching my uh, opponent's matches before I had my match with them, I, I noticed their like habits and stuff. So I tried to like play around that, um, which might be what I'm trying to do because I think the use has gone for these like early missions because um, they just kind of look pretty pretty appetizing, uh, you know, just low low hanging fruits. Uh, obviously you're gonna want to go for them at all times. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's not always the plan. And I, I feel like, uh, here, the use definitely realized that it wasn't the play to, to go for that low hanging fruit and just go for death chamber. Struggling a bit on the door skip though, which is a little terrifying. Can't get hit. It's then... it's not too bad. It's it's basically M two, yeah. uh, and then you have to do like, and then you have to do switch G, and then uh, after that, it's probably just gonna be a, a rush to final chase, and then that that'll be the end of the dark side. And then I think Piner needs one goal, which which will be City Escape. Um, Almost certainly. But uh, that won't be for like a bit. The moment of truth to see if the use uh, goes up Pyramid Cave or not. I mean, well, 
No, the chamber is right there, so you might go for why, that first. Why would you? It's the question. Because, like, yeah, I mean, death chamber is right there, like you said, so it's just like, well, at least try. Already there. As we all know, death chamber M2 can be a little bit of a problem. Or, well, not M2, but death chamber with 100 rings. It's actually kind of, in a way, you could argue that it's easier than M2 because you can dig for rings in M1. Um, you could like get your piece one and two, and then. Oh, oh wait, he already has a sense. I was I was really confused on why he wasn't grabbing one. Okay, that is a very terrifying piece. Yeah, for sure. Looks like Piner's gonna be going into Mission Street as well. Mission Street. Death Chamber as well. No problem. So, it's gonna be a shootout now. Uh, Deuce definitely has a big lead for this. Where's Deuce going? Oh, oh, yeah, rings, rings. I, I was so confused. I completely didn't think about uh, getting, like, the electric shield or anything. And then Ace is whistle glitching uh, on M5 right now, so we'll probably be seeing that goal clicked off soon. And the use is gonna want to get out of that room as soon as possible. Piner grabbed their first piece. Uh, I need to know. Oh, uh, that's scary. M5 is 23k. Alright. Okay, so Which... this is, is, is merry-go-round. Um, looks like they know where... Okay, yeah, they have 100 rings, so... Um, the use is going to be getting this one. Pioneer's probably going to quit out now and then either go for CE M5 or um, Tails 1 and Eggman 1 and... That'll probably begin when uh, Lexi gets the final chase goal. Actually, she might get the final chase goal before. Okay, yeah, CEM5. Yeah, she's gonna get the final chase goal first. Oh! Yeah, no, of course not, because... Yeah, why would you want to go all the way to Shadow 1? It's like so far into Dark Story. Or Sonic one. Yeah. Uh, I'm 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 just an idiot. Never mind then. Imagine if you could get a hundred rings on the rail before you <laughs> before fleeing. <laughs> That'd be <laughs> ridiculous. All right. Gotta see some skipless final chase action. Yes. No, there's a lot of big fans of those. Do you sticking with story mode? Cool. I have Gonna to be wonder. The between City Escape and Pyramid Cave, which which M5 do you think is the better one to go for? Is this the stage you would... City Escape because you can do CE scope. Yeah. Whoa. It depends on how good you are at Pyramid Cave. No, because M3 sucks in PC. But M2 is way better. Oh, that's a that's a good question, actually. I don't know. I I I, I still think it's C. But because you can get more consistent times with those, I feel like. Yeah. Well. 
On the other hand, you won't have to deal with trying to squeeze through the metal boxes in Pyramid Cave. I never thought those were too hard, to be honest. Oh. I don't know about Pioneer, but I know Deuce is having trouble with that during practice, so... Actually, based off of that, it's probably... This is just a free goal for Pioneer, and they realized that when they saw the message. <laughs> so. Oh, wait, no. There, was there a message about it? Oh, yeah, in the Bingo Sync uh, chat, Deuce was like, How do you uh, clip it? Between the metal boxes and you, buddy, buddy, you threw before the <laughs> match started. <laughs> oh no. Okay. That's, that's kind of me. But uh, it is funny that that is how nice Pioneer, Pioneer knows. Also, yeah, that was really nice. Lexi clearing the tube section, which is really good. That's like easily the scariest part of Final Chase. Go for mini skip, bone skip, whatever the fuck skip. I don't know what it's called. Has a has a green shield, so probably probably fine. <laughs> no kill planes in sight. Let's go. And Ace is going to be going for Lost Colony M5. I don't know if he'll be able to get that in time, but might help out the goal differential at least. Yeah. No Quan for to use. I keep forgetting that Eternal Engine is before Meteor Herd. I don't know why I, I want to. Forgetting. I keep forgetting Eternal Engine is a stage, to be honest. <laughs> I just, just kind of block it out of my memory. So um, true. Which I probably shouldn't be doing, because this is why I never buffed Tethys in Hero Story since the 29. I, I, threw, I threw in both of it. <laughs> Ever get third try? I I'm not wait. mad you are. Can't Anyways. wait for Tethys versus Blue in Hero Story Tournament. Gotta I'll happen. fucking win. I'll <laughs> fucking win. <laughs> Let's go. Challenge has been laid out. If he's not in my pool, we're doing an exhibition. <laughs> Let's go. He has no say in this. Why is Lexi <laughs> Just... beating Shadow? <laughs> for the flex. He's there's Piner with M4. There's no way Piner doesn't get M5. Mm-hmm. And Lexi doesn't have to do anything during the end credits. <laughs> Alright, so we are, for the first time ever, seeing the <laughs> credits <laughs> in the bingo league. This is, this is a match. This kind of, I feel, I feel like this fell apart. So true. We need to, we need the audio for the cutscene. <laughs> I imagine like seeing Piner might be laughing like that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Lexi's done playing the game. It seems. <laughs> yep. It does not want to play anymore. Only one more match to go, and it's against TGU in a couple days. That's super far back, Pioneer. Don't think that's gonna work. You have yeah. to be a little bit further. There we go. No, so got through. That's at that, at that point, it's GG. I know. Yes, is in um, is in City Escape. All right. At this point, I would have gone for Meteor Herd. Right. Unless, well, I, I wasn't looking. Maybe, maybe these got Goring or something. But definitely go for Meteor Herd because it's your best shot at a goal differential. Oh, getting. There's 
Lost Colony M4. We're about to see M5. Didn't even have to see Tails 1 and Eggman 1 this time. I'm actually kind of surprised. But I guess this is technically the like safest option. Well, I mean, at this point, the safest option <laughs> would be uh, quit out. Pioneer quits out now for some dumb reason and then goes all the way to to Sonic 1 but that would uh, for one be kind of toxic and for two um, why um, I don't know cause that, that won't get contested for a while um, so yeah like, like at this point the only way Piner can lose this goal is if they like Fall through the ground. <laughs> fall through the ground. Yeah, that that would be one way to lose the goal. It's it's possible. <laughs> no clip into the back room. <laughs> All right, and with that. Uh, Lexi and Pioneer have uh, finished off with 13 goals, and Australia has 6. And Lexi has finished the credit to just in time to get the 13th goal. All right. Incredible. Con congratulations to both runners. So, uh, interviews. Shadow was stolen from the military uh, base located right. on the deserted island in the southern seas. Who wanna, who wanna chat? Oh, I don't know. Activities. I don't know. Do we have an ace coming in? Leads to the incident yeah. that shocked the entire yeah. world. Yeah. All right, the story let's go. Takes out okay. Sonic from the so the first thing I, I want to ask, uh, is the use when. Hello. When you quit out to do City Escape at, like, the very end, um, I just want to know why you did that, because you could have gone for the Meteor Herd goals and still gotten at least, like, a little bit of a better goal differential. Um, um, did, you, did you just think that uh, Piner was also in story, or...? Um, no, I had no idea. I just thought that um, CEM5, they don't have any other goals, really, that... Um, they just need one more goal, so I thought I could try and grab that goal. Mm -hmm. But, um, because I thought that Pina might have ducked back through the story, maybe to try and get the media heard goals, but no, instead he went through City Escape. But it was just kind of either I do the media heard missions or I duck out and do CEM5, which I feel like the CEM5 might have been the safer play. Oh, so I actually I did go back it. into story. Um, oh, yeah. After I got Metal Harbor M5, I ducked into the story to try to do Death Chamber M1 before you did. Because uh, I thought that I still had yeah. a story lead on you. Yeah. Oh, it's it's a, it's a painful mission, that one. Yeah. I... <laughs> just, ugh. Mm -hmm. It's so annoying. I got really lucky, and I dug in the blue room, like in the ground, and got a five ring capsule, which just got me to 100, and I was like, perfect. <laughs> yeah, that was so bad. I, you also Dumb got a really luck. good piece three. It was like merry-go-round or something. Yeah, but my piece one and two weren't too great. Yellow and black no, stripes he, and good yeah, text the goddess. <laughs> I, got, I, got, part, but... I figured because I was going to yeah. be collecting rings that it didn't really matter what first piece I got. I got fucking bat in the hourglass and then I read my next hint and it's bat in a scorpion. And I'm like, can you Amazing. not? Can you not do this right now? <laughs> we love Death Chamber uh, M4. Um... <laughs> So, Ace, what was the thought process behind quitting out immediately and doing, like, Dry Lagoon M2 and Headquarters M4 uh, and, like, sacrificing the story lead? Honestly, because I was looking at the missions that were going to be in the actual Dark story, and they were pretty much just, like, all late game. Because we had Cosmic mm -hmm. Wall 100 rings and Final Chase 100 rings. 
And then we had Sky Rail, which as much as I love that stage, it comes after literally like almost three minutes of driving, which is going to take a lot of time. My brain was thinking, I can hit these goals quickly, and then I can carry on from there, get to where I need, and then maybe see if I could try to shoot for the story, because I didn't know if Lexi was going for the same thing. And nah. for a period of time, Deuce was actually in call with me when I was talking about this. I said, I've seen her already jump out of Dark Story and dive into Hero Story to try to do things like Tales and Eggman 1 and the CE goals already twice now. How much do you want to bet she's probably tried to do that again? Yeah. <laughs> I got the peak credits, buddy. <laughs> yeah. So, I, I actually talked about this uh, at, during the match. It, it was like... You can you can watch your opponents before you actually face them, and then you can yeah. like study their habits and stuff, and like see what they're most likely to do in a match, and that actually can help you form a strategy around playing with them uh, when it comes to your time to to face them, which is actually what what I assumed that that you guys were all doing. Um, no, it, in this in this context, it was actually. Because I, I forgot what exactly it was, but it was something that Pioneer did. Uh, oh yeah, I think it, I think it was go for CEM five um, because it was like uh, the use uh, is probably uh, more likely to want to go for these like low hanging fruit missions, like early goals and stuff. Um, because I'm pretty sure he's done that a couple times in previous matches and. So, you know, like, based off of that information, you could, you could think that you could try to, like, snipe that from the use. Mm. But it does also apply to, uh, to, uh, Ace's situation. I'm just, I'm just gonna say, I made the mistake of going to Wild Canyon all day rake missions instead of trying to be part of the Metal Harbor. And I only just realized that when he ticked off M4, I'm like, I could have gone for this, why didn't I go for this instead of doing Wild Canyon? <laughs> Well, yeah. Also, also, uh, just gonna throw it out there real quick. Do you? I do use they/them pronouns. Hey. Sorry, I'm very sorry about that. No, you're fine. You're fine. Hey. Uh, yes. but yeah, no. Uh, definitely thought you were gonna. It was gonna be a race for that. I. Well, actually, I don't know. In my mindset at that point, it was kind of weird because at that point in the race, there was nothing you had marked off, so I had no clue where you were. I was just like sitting here, like, okay, if I want to get. <laughs> You know, if I hop out here, I could potentially get upward up to four goals, or I could get four goals if I keep going, right? Like, or uh, and, and and I knew at least that it would be a higher concentration, like a higher speed of acquiring those goals if I jumped out if I got Metal Harbor, and so that's why I went with that. And I was just like, it was it was nice and lucky that you ended up going for a different goal. Yeah, yeah, it was definitely a mistake. Yeah. It definitely gave you the advantage. And uh, what one last thing for the use? Um, at at the start, you grabbed the Chow box in City Escape and Wild Canyon, and you were in the lead for Unlock Chow Garden for Hero Story goals. And then you didn't grab the Chow box in Prison Lane, and didn't even attempt to grab it in Mission Street. So did you just like decide that that goal wasn't worth it anymore, or did you just like forget or? So, for Prison Lane, I completely forgot where all three chow boxes were. Um, <laughs> and uh, for Mission Street, I thought that I know that they may be ahead of um, in story. They may be ahead in the story. Mm -hmm. So, I was thinking to myself, uh, I'm just going to leave it. Because when I'm in Zero Cycle, I was like, yeah, I probably shouldn't worry about that goal anymore. Yeah, that that's completely understandable. Yeah. Um, but yeah, with that, if there's anything else you guys would like to say about the match, uh, it was a pretty solid match overall. GG on winning. Yeah, you he, he played well. He did very good. That was yeah. the most dark story of all time. That's so true. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't make dark story once, did you, Lexi? Nope, <laughs> not for a split second. <laughs> oh, yeah, Lord, yeah, this, is, a... this is the first full dark run in the bingo league. Let's uh, go. The first end credits? <laughs> the first end the credits, yeah.
Oh my god. You actually so sat funny. through the entire credits. Yeah. Yeah, I was in C before by then. I, after, I had a good feeling. Yeah, like like after Lexi got final chase and one, there was really nothing else left for her to do. I guess there was also there was also defeat Tails and Eggman one, but she wouldn't have gotten there before uh before Piner would have finished a goal, so I think I think watching yeah. the credits was funnier. <laughs> so I had to go to the bathroom, you know. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, yeah. But yeah, with that, um, that's going to be the end of this match. I believe next is the expert mode race in Shadow the Hedgehog. Ooh, fun. Be so cool. It's going to be hype. <sighs> uh, I forget who's racing. I haven't actually <laughs> kept too much up with this, but um. But yeah, I, I... Zeddy and Dream Syntax, two of the top Ooh, runners. Yeah. Okay, this is gonna be a hype match. Let's go, Let's Zeddy, go. my boy. By the way, I'm rooting for him. I love oh, that it's... man. I uh, I met him met him in person at Calithon a few years back, and he'd be absolute joy to be around. Let's go. I love Shadow the Hedgehog. This game is so great. These runners are so great. It's gonna be such a good run. Expert mode glitchless. In about 20 minutes, ETA. We all know how good we are with keeping on schedule. But. <laughs> all right. All right. Let's see.
There we go. Now we have audio. All right, hey. game. Yo! What's up? <laughs> Are we right. live? Yep, we are live. Yo. Mics are hot. Welcome, everybody. We got Shadow the Hedgehog expert between Blaze and Zeddy and Dream Syntax. Ah, it's gonna be a fun time. I am Azrael Kirby. I am a washed up runner of this game. <laughs> uh, which I mean, I haven't really ran in years, but this game's still awesome. Right, gaming. Uh, both very good runners. This race mm. is about to get underway, so that'll be cool. And. Both are on console, which means this is going to be a completely leaderboard verifiable. Yep. Oh, and we're going. Oh, that sync is so nice. Yeah, it's good. So, um, Shadow the Hedgehog. It's Sonic with guns. That's just really the explanation <laughs> we need to know. But uh, it's past the typical Shadow where we're doing expert mode. So, expert mode um, involves uh, playing every single stage in the game. It's not just like six stages in order. Um, there's only one goal for each mission. By the way, fun little trick at the start of the run there. They get hit by the helicopter on purpose so that they can light dash downwards using the rings. Really fun. Um, but yeah, uh, expert mode has all the stages. They're slightly remixed and by slightly I, I mean slightly. But um, uh, there's usually just get to the goal ring with a few exceptions and even those exceptions are basically just get to the end. Um, so, just one mission for each. Slight changes, like you'll see on uh, Dream Side over there. Um, the There's no boost ramp at that one part, so you have to jump over a pit. Oh my god, it's like a whole new game. But, Let's go. the speedrun's really cool. Um, because, in fact, you do get to do every stage. It's not just six stages and you're done. And by the way, so one of the big mechanics in Shadow of the Hedgehog that you'll see a lot through the speedrun is uh, Chaos Control. So whenever you defeat the uh, evil enemies, which are typically the aliens and sometimes Eggman's robots, you build up the hero meter. And when that gets maxed, you can use uh, Chaos Control, which basically lets you zoom forward through the stage really fast. So a lot of the routing for this game involves getting enemies when you want them, filling the meter when you want it so you can use it optimally. So for example, in this stage, they used it at a certain point, they stopped it midway in order to get a fast ring dash and get faster on the ground, and then finished using their Chaos Control to get past a big uh, automated boost ramp part. So there's a lot of routing like that in each stage where you want to get um, you want to get Chaos Control at just the right time so that you get the most out of it. Because it lets you skip large portions of the stage, so using it effectively is a big part of the run. To hear on to one of the first stages you don't really see very often, which is Digital Circuit, because it's not in any of the um, main story runs. But it's a really cool stage with a lot of fun stuff. These rails parts that start are just automatic. Um, the past there's a lot of platforming, a lot of jumping around, like you can see at the start of these blocks. Um, it's, there's a lot of corridors and hallways, and it's kind of just fun to weave your way through every part of the stage. What is that? Can it be this world security system? Right, it was interesting to see a little routing difference right off the bat. Dream took the uh, first beetle, getting that gun, and Zeddy opted not to go for that one and get a later beetle. Yeah, there. Because almost every enemy in this game drops a gun. You can get things from everybody. And that leaves room open for improvisation and such. Um, and as worth noting, guns are a very big part of this game. Because as mentioned, you want to kill a bunch of enemies because you can get chaos control. It helps in a lot of stages. So, And guns are a very, very fast way to kill enemies. They're very effective in this game. So a lot of routing becomes getting the right guns where. Uh, you'll see, like, Dream just brought, uh, broke open this sh shadow box. 
Um, those give you special weapons. There's six special weapons in the game, and basically they kill a lot of enemies faster, or do different interesting tasks. In this run, you will mostly see the egg vacuum, the Omochar gun, and the shadow rifle. I don't believe any of the others appear next week. I think, um, satellite rifle gets one appearance in Cosmic Fall, but, uh, they open oh. a lot of possibilities. Um, I believe the heal cannon is going to see some use in, uh, the Doom. Right, Although, you'll see heal, yeah, in the Doom. Though it's, yeah, yeah heal cannon's in the Doom, forgot about that. Um, yeah. I, Samurai Sword is awful, don't ever use it. <laughs> uh, Isn't there a whole category about swords only? There is, there is Katana Percent, which is the best meme category. Um, there where you only use the katana. <laughs> um, anyway, this is a level where you don't see chaos control. It's not in every stage because it's not, it's not particularly conducive to the layout of the stage because there's a lot of breaks. So you can't just chaos control through everything. There's parts where they automatically stop you, such as before all of these rail sections. So you can't like chaos control through the rail sections. So this is just a run as fast through the level as possible. Um, and there's not even, and even if it was feasible, there's not a lot of hero enemies in the level. So, this ends up just being a level you run through. Actually, no, that's not true. I forgot. In expert mode digital circuit, you actually do use chaos control after you get to the past the, um, uh, where the goal ring usually is. Because the goal ring is at the end of this level where the, um, dark mission usually ends instead of where the hero mission ends. And, um, Looks like this For reasons, it's faster in expert place. mode to get um, chaos control, which is not fast faster in just playing the dark mission. And that's why he's been paying a lot of attention to gun vacuum enemies and such. Oh yeah, there's heal cannon here too. Forgot about that. Yeah, heal cannon, if you heal um, the good guy enemies, they give you hero points. So he gets the last bit of hero energy in order to chaos control straight to the uh, goal ring. Perfect. In I normal, uh, yeah, go on. I was to say, I think it is very interesting when you shoot an enemy with a heal cannon, they don't attack you anymore. Right, it's like they become neutral, they don't want to kill you. But yeah, it's really interesting. And it's interesting why it's faster in expert to use chaos control is because you just go straight to the goal ring. You can chaos control through the goal ring and just win. Meanwhile, in the dark mission, at the end of that level is a thing you have to destroy. So it just brings you up there and then, you know, you don't have a gun anymore because you probably have the heal cannon. So it, it's a really interesting routing difference. There, there's a few throughout the run. They're not, uh, mostly, it's a lot of just like the normal mission with slight changes, but there's some big differences like D Digital Circuit. Um, the Doom is another one where there's big differences. Um, and there's some other lighter as well. So Glyphic Canyon, this is another state. This is in pretty much every one of the main story runs of this game. The dream syntax getting caught up by the loops. Normally you can just jump straight from the first to the last one. You got really hooked up there. Um, but yeah, Glyphic Canyon, this is another stage where using your Chaos Control at the right time is crucial because you can skip really important sections. Um, also, a big skip coming up here. Um, you can jump on this little environmental object thing and you can spin dash and jump- Oh, oh Dream failed it! That's huge! You lose a lot of time. Can Zeddy get it? Ooh, Zeddy got yeah. it! So that's what's called a spin dash high jump. When you use a spin dash, you get a, a lot of momentum, and if you jump while on a slope, it redirects all the momentum upwards, and you can get really uh, tall heights through it. Um, I just also, want another to point out: take how note how Dream's hero gauge is now empty. So that is right. a bigger time loss than just oh, it's a small little death. Like now he can't do the uh, chaos control this through this part. That is a right. huge lead for Zeddy. They're lying in ambush. Oh, yeah, Zeddy got past all that. Let him get away. Meanwhile, he's going to have to run all the way around the tornado section. He's going to kill the enemies, jump on the platforms. All stuff you'd normally skip with Chaos Control. So Zeddy taking the lead after that hard fall on that uh, trick. It's a very hard trick. It's really deceptive. 
like it's a lot of there's a lot of spin dash high jumps in the game it's one of the like strangest ones to do Perfect. because you want you only get one attempt and it's easy to just fall off and die you have such a small window and you just die if you fail it because then you've spin dashed to your death and on to lethal highway another one not in normal runs uh, again, this is just like most levels get to the end, but Lethal Highway, you just, you go really fast because it's just long highways. So it's just a matter of like running really fast. I don't remember if Chaos Control is in the, in the extra mode route. I don't think it is. Uh, I guess it is. If he's destroying those enemies, it probably is. My favorite thing is this fire shield because these little buggers don't hurt you and you just run through them. It right. is amazing. The fire, sh fire shield is really useful in this stage in particular because, like I said, you kill all the leeches and you also destroy any environmental objects uh, that you run into. So given this stage where you can just run forward really fast, all you really have to worry about is not hitting the big enemies a lot of the time when you're just running fast. This is a fun part. That uh, falling platform, its hitbox is there as, like, always, but, you know, there's the animation of it falling. So you can grab onto it before it's actually hit the ground, and it looks very funny. And now you can really see this fire shoot where you're just running, just bolting down this highway with nothing to stop you because of the fire shield. It is... it's an exhilarating... Just run down the highway. Sometimes, so funny sometimes I like my highways a little lethal instead of radical. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, fun fact. Um, lethal Highway is actually built off of Westopolis. Um, if you... Uh, use a trick called Wall Run Warp, which is, you know, not going to be him here because it's glitchless. You can, you basically warp to a different part of the stage, and if you use Chaos Control, you're on the Westopolis version of the Chaos Control paths. Like, they're still present in the stage. That is amazing. Yeah, like, you basically just warp really far downwards, and suddenly you're in Westopolis. Though there's no, you know, geometry or anything, but there are the Chaos Control splines. Don't I love how away. amazing Sega is at cleaning up their stages. <laughs> Don't let their warships get away. Hey, where's my bike? Come here. And, hey, where's my bike? Has anyone seen? Speaking where of these guys asking, where's, where's my, my bike? bike? There's not going to be a lot of vehicles you'll see in this run. As you could even see, just watching the stage, Shadow is fast. Uh, I know, wild concept for a Sonic game. But a lot faster than the vehicles, and also a lot better to control. Perfect. The vehicles are just kind of just awful, really. The only ones you'll see are, I believe, the, um, what are they called? The air saucers in um, Black Comet and um, a Prison Island. And maybe another. I think it's just those two. And I forget. I think you also use the mechs in Sky Troops. Actually, no. I think you skip those. I don't remember. No, you do use at least one mech in Sky Troops. So the jumping mechs that jump really high, uh, you'll see those in Sky Troops. But other than that, vehicles are not a common sight in the speedruns, unless you're doing like meme categories. <laughs> All right, Cryptic Castle, personal favorite of mine. It's a fun level, and it's a very meticulous speedrun. Um, like, it's it's a very cramped level, so um, navigating around is a bit tricky. You got some fun parts like that where you can just spin dash around that whole castle. Also, a fun another expert mode change. A thing you'll see a lot is that a lot of things like those that balloon goes faster because it's kind of meant for you to play it a bit faster. It's like a, I wouldn't know if I'd call it a speedrun mode, but a lot of small stuff like that is sped up. I mean, I would call it that because it skips a lot of stuff. No cutscenes. Oh, Dream just died. Yeah, that's true. Oh no, oh. that's not good. Yeah, no bosses, no cutscenes, no result screens. You just go one stage into the next. Well, there is a shadow poses at the camera. <laughs> There's that, but yeah, no result screen. 
Um, so in the original level, you had to uh, light a bunch of lanterns, and I believe some of them you still have to do an expert. I believe you have to hit the one in the um, chow room, an expert. Those bird sections are basically just complete auto scrolls. There's not really much to say about them, other than that uh, sometimes you get stuck on the wall when you're trying to play casually, and it sucks. And then stop. The ultimate power. That is. I didn't even know about that trick. I hadn't heard. Seen that. Oh, oh, oh Zeddy with the cross. Oh, oh no! no! Shadow the Hedgehog strike! <laughs> there you go, RTA race, everyone. Oh, you don't see that much when you're playing Glitchless. In fact, that's one of the reasons you play Glitchless is the game doesn't crash very often. So if you're not aware, um, in other categories, uh, you, you when you use Chaos Control Glitch, which is a glitch that lets you have Chaos Control with like an infinite. Uh, meter like it doesn't go down it has a good chance to crash the game considering you're just going really fast and reloading and unloading areas all really really quickly so that has a chance to crash the game but it doesn't happen that often in glitchless just like that dream is almost ahead an entire stage but yeah Shadow can be pretty expert. volatile, so we'll see if that changes. <laughs> yeah. Also, if you didn't notice, if you've played normal Cryptic Castle, you know that chat that Eggman has his secret Chow Garden for some reason. And uh, that's been replaced with a bunch of death leeches in the expert mode. Uh, <laughs> I thought that was uh, just Dark Garden. Yep. <laughs> And Dream is just now at the end, while uh, Zeddy is only 22 seconds in to Crypto Castle. Perfect. Now that he has to redo the level. The game, it doesn't... <laughs> well, I'm personally playing Glitchless. I do not have cl crashes very often. Um, it's especially compared to playing um, the Glitch categories. So now we're in Prison Island. Prison Island... I don't know if I'd say it's my favorite stage. Prison Island Dark is my favorite mission. Uh, the speedrun. I really love that one. Um, I need a retake world record for that. It's like the only reason I want to pick up Shadow again. Anyway, it's a fun level. You'll see the first use of the air saucers here. So, um, the air saucer, the only real reason we use it is that it makes you immune to the toxic acid. Otherwise, we would just run through it anyway. And as you'll see later in the level, we do just run through it. Um, as we'll see what happens. Uh, but uh, it's just weird and it's wobbly, and as soon as we're, we can, we get off it. It's not the worst vehicle. Like it's probably better than like any cars in the game. But still, we'd rather be running on feet whenever we can. This is a fun section because there's just hero enemies everywhere and you kind of just want to hit as many as possible. Also, here's an expert mode difference. Those gates aren't there. They'll prevent you from just running straight through. Are we going to see the... Are we going to see Dream do the Prison Island spin dash high jump? Oh, no. I don't think we need to do an expert. No, an expert, you just go straight through. You chaos control passed. And now you'll see another thing. Now we're going to fill up the dark meter. So another mechanic that's true for either meter, if you have a meter filled up, at full and you don't use the ability, you have what's called Chaos Sphere, which gives you infinite ammo, which as you see he's firing very constantly, as you also see he has invincibility, which lets him run on the acid. So once you get to that part of the river, you're just running and shooting so much, even though he only has four ammo. Oh yeah, and another one, Expert Mode. Usually the goal ring is a bit before here, and you would have to go uh, further when playing the hero mission to get the last um, secret disc. But the goal ring is all the way at the end in this mode. So you have to keep going all the way to the end part here, which you don't see very often. 
up to one here a while. Puts you right where that last uh, little disc is. Yep. And there's our goal ring. Nice kick. <laughs> Perfect. So next we're going on to Circus Park. Unfortunately, we don't get the iconic cutscene beforehand in expert mode. <laughs> so no damn fourth Chaos Emerald for us. But we do get a fun stage. Um, this stage has one of the most interesting changes. Just a specific section that it's just like a pure platforming section that you don't see very often anywhere else in the game. That's in the expert mode version of this stage. See you later. Ooh, fun spin dash there to avoid using the um, spring. Ooh, more fun spin dash. Yeah, there's a lot of spin dash jumps you can do just to do little optimizations. Because um, those high jumps come in handy when you don't have a lot of ways moving upwards other than the ways the stage wants you to move upwards, which are usually slow. Oh yeah, and we got fast roller coasters. Because them going as fast as they were, were weren't fine. Now they're just going to make you throw up immediately if this were in real life. <laughs> I don't know who Eggman expects to come here, but you know. So I never explained a lot about the different special weapons. So, uh, like I said, the main three you'll see throughout the run are the Egg Vacuum, the Omachal Gun, and the Shadow Rifle. Um, so Dream Syntax right now has the uh, Egg Vacuum, which sucks in any enemies that are nearby it. So you often see he's just running past enemies to uh, suck them up. Also, fun spin dash there to avoid a bunch of stuff. Damn it. But yeah, you just sucks up the enemies, you get all the points, and it's easy. It's the best for when you just need to run through. The only problem is it doesn't work on bigger enemies, which is just like uh, arbitrary. Like, you can't get the gun mechs. You can't get the um, black oaks, the golems. Um, so on stages that only have smaller enemies, then it works. In particular, every single Eggman enemy gets sucked up by the vacuum, which makes it useful. It just one-shots everything that either one-shots it or it doesn't do anything. Uh, the Omochao gun is just a really powerful gun, but in particular, it can go back and forth between enemies. It just, like, bounces. So you can get multiple enemies at once, or in particular, it's really good when you need to destroy um, environmental pieces, which is also useful in Prison Island, because it keeps going and you can hit multiple objects with a single, single shot, unlike other guns which stop when they hit something. And then the third is the Shadow Rifle, which is notable in that it one-shots every enemy, uh, which is useful to do, one-shot every enemy. Uh, the problem is you have to time it a bit more. So like Egg Vacuum, you literally just hold the B button and you hit everything. Uh, Shadow Rifle, you have to time stuff a bit more. Sometimes you might have to slow down to make sure you hit something if it hasn't hit the ground yet. But when you need it, it really comes in handy because it one-shots every enemy in the game. Um, makes it very handy. Yeah, Dream Circus Park was really good. On to Central City. So this is one of the stages. If you remember, the original playthrough of the game does not have a goal ring. And neither does this version of the level. Um, in this stage, we're going to be doing the, what's normally the dark mission, which is destroy all the five bombs. They're not all at the same places, though uh, a lot of them are. There are a few different ones. And also, they're often beyond cages. We have to kill like 10 enemies before they open, as you can see here. Actually, while well, I was... Thinking about the uh, special weapons, doesn't the uh, laser uh, remote detonator thing get used in? Satellite laser. Yeah, the satellite laser. Doesn't that get used in Cosmic Call? Yes, I mentioned that earlier. That we'll see that later. Um, I'll explain that when it comes up because it's Look. just like a single use. Um, and healing cannon, we've already seen. You know, you heal an enemy, and it gives you the points opposite what it would have been when you kill it. So yeah, this is one part when you get here where it's just, you gotta kill a bunch of enemies, you're gonna keep spawning, and the cage doesn't open until you get it. So, it's just that. But you do get a bunch of ammo though, so you won't have to worry about ammo at all later. Death to our Also, because we have Chaos Fever, again, we can just run over the Acid River in this part of Central City. 
but yet again also more enemies. Just kind of standing around a bit. That's a bit different between the expert and normal mode versions of levels as well, is that there's just generally more enemies. It's particularly notable here where you have to wait until all the cages open. Also, that's supposed to be a barricade, but they put a little slope on the end of it, so you can just spin dash and jump over it. Huh? I can't get a lock. Come here. Also, they want you to break that cage, huh? but we can just do a spin dash non-high jump to just get over there. Which is fun. Uh, is Eddie coming into Central City now? Oh! Uh. He tried to do a spin dash, and then the X input of the spin dash, I guess, switched his gun, which is uh, fun when you have a bunch of things all on the same button. Oh, that is great. Yep. Also, Zeddy got the spin dash jump that uh, Dream failed to get at the, the start of it. You can use the little piece of destructible uh, Chaos Blast train to spin dash up to the top without having to use the spring there. Uh, Dream failed to get it. He tried a few times, but uh, Zeddy got a first try. Now we're on to the Doom, everyone's favorite level. So the goal here is to get 10. Uh, you have to heal the 10 soldiers, just like the hero mission. Uh, the twist, though, is that they're literally all at the same place. They're all where the goal ring is. Now, if we were playing the... Uh, uh, normal version of the stage, if we were just playing normal to get to the end, we would use satellite laser to get behind that wall really quickly. The problem is the switch that you would normally activate with a satellite laser isn't in expert mode. Uh, so we can't do that. Luckily, there's like a billion zillion ways to get past that wall with and without glitches involving jumping out of bounds and in that case, just using chaos control. Like I found, I've found like I believe three different ways you can jump out of bounds. Anyway, the Doom's a really fast level, by the way. Perfect. That door that uh, they used, if you'd noticed, because you know it's a bit of blink and you miss it. He ran up to the door once he had full chaos control meter. Meter. Used chaos control, and it basically let him clip through the door because the chaos control pathway just lets you go through that door. And skipping that door skips two thirds of the level. Just that alone. And then he manages his chaos control to get the final third of the level done. And then the level's just over in like 40 seconds. And then you have to heal all the enemies that are right at the end. Uh, but yeah, that door that skips two thirds of the level is uh, basically just a suggestion. <laughs> um, like you can use the satellite laser to break the switch and non-expert. You can go to a side room and spin dash high jump off of an object to then just go out of bounds because they didn't program a ceiling you can uh, you can lure some enemies to another area and then spin dash high jump off them because they also didn't program a ceiling in the main room either they don't expect you to be able to hit the ceiling you can jump on the fan and use that to spin dash jump to get over the door or you can chaos control through the door it's just a complete suggestion um, anyway we're on to sky troops now this level is very similar to the normal version. Doesn't really play that differently, um, if I remember correctly. And it's, it's a fun stage to speedrun um, glitchless. Like going through the whole stage. There's a lot of management of your, you know, chaos blast, chaos control and stuff. So, for example, you saw the first mech session with the jumping mech. It's kind of slow. We don't want to do it again. So we perfectly get Chaos Control to skip the entire second mech section, because it is slow as fuck. So we don't want to do that. We get our Chaos Control, so we skip through all of that. That's why Chaos Control is so useful. One other thing about Chaos Control that I haven't mentioned, by the way, is that um, in certain sections that you can Chaos Control over, they don't want to just drop you down when it runs out, because you'd be over a pit or something like that. Or in that section, you'd be in a section where you don't have the mech. So, uh, they keep your chaos control going until you're at a safe place to land. So, a lot of the routing in this game also involves uh, abusing this fact. So that, um, you'll see it again right here in Skytrips as well. He's gonna kill the bird, jump off, in order to use chaos control, but it's gonna run out and keep going because it does not want to drop you over that pit. 
and it only lets you go once you're back over land again. And again, that's that's used in the routing a lot to keep you, to use it as efficiently as possible. There's the end. Um, up next is everyone's favorite level again, uh, which is Mad Matrix. Uh, Fun. So at least, Mad Matrix. <laughs> at least yeah, it's Mad not Matrix. Mad Matrix Dark. Not dark. Uh, we we only spend the minimum amount of time on the railways as we need. Um, so this plays out like the hero mission of Mad Matrix, where you have to get all four terminals. Um, so it just plays like that. I I don't remember if there, it's probably not allowed in Glitchless, but there's the trick where you can uh, jump over a wall that they also didn't program in, like the other ceilings. Uh, I don't remember if we defined that as glitch or not, but I guess we'll see. See, we'll see if they invalidate their runs or not, <laughs> or even if it is valid at all. The first part of the stage is really tricky because the camera is just super jank. Um, there are parts it just spins around. It's one of the few places in Shadow that legitimately has a bad camera is that first tower. It's just, it goes around wildly. It's hard to do. And it's just really cramped to get through that area. And it's hard to do that while speedrunning. Anyway, off to the railways. Luckily, there's just a fastest route to go through this. So they're going to go straight to the yellow tower, then the red tower, then the green tower. Um, fun thing is you actually will see some uh, chaos control building here because we can use it to get past. And that's probably also why we have uh, healing cannon here. I forgot healing cannon was in Mad Matrix Hero, but yeah, it is. Because um, you can heal the Eggman's enemies to get uh, hero meter. And there's a lot of those. There's not as many hero enemies in the stage. So the best way to actually get points is to heal them when there's just so few aliens. And uh, if you remember, if you played this in the green tower, there's this auto scroller thing where you're riding the platform and you have to shoot the targets before they show up. Yeah, we can chaos control over all of that, so we can skip what is essentially an auto scroller by filling up our meter. So it looks like Zeddy is a bit more than two minutes behind right now. That's definitely can be caught up, especially if Dream makes a mistake, and the later stages do get pretty hard. Dude, these sections here where you have to hit all the panels, once they're all the same color, they'll go where you want them to go. And yeah, there's all these uh, tile puzzles you have to do, which are just, you know, get all the colors correct, and they're a lot harder to do while speedrunning than you think. Because <laughs> it's just like walking over things, and there's not a lot of feedback. Oh no, like, Oh no, he fell! You know what uh, that means, though? No more chaos control meter. He's gonna have to go through the auto scroll. Oh, this is huge that's, for Zeddy. That's huge. He tried to do a spin dash jump to go through something a little faster, and he just fell off. Yeah. That's why races are a little different than PB attempts. <laughs> yeah, and he's already just like, just in terms of normal time on the counter, he's now only a minute and a half behind, but that's going to really change once he gets to the green uh, terminal uh, auto scroller. Oh yeah, those firewalls, all they do is make you lose 10 rings if you just took normal damage in the game. So it it really just doesn't matter to hit them. Though it could for Dream. Ah, oh, he sees, he notices that he only has zero rings, so he couldn't go through that firewall. Good catch. He, uh, if he were paying less attention, he could have easily just ran into that firewall with zero rings and died. Because normally we can just tank them. It's not usually an issue because really you're almost never gonna die from damage in this game because you only lose 10 at a time 
but smart catch. He was approaching it and turned away really quickly. Yeah, Dream might lose his lead after the auto scroller. It's pre it's a pretty long auto scroller. I think he might still have it after it, possibly, but it's gonna be a lot tighter. So the red terminal area, everyone's favorite. Instead of just jumping across blocks, we can just do a spin dash long jump just to get straight to the terminal. This is also another part where the camera is quite a bit uh, weird. Sometimes you're going to things you really can't see where you're going that well sometimes. All right, we're coming up on the dream, uh, on the green terminal for dream and uh, Zeddy's currently in the red terminal. And as you can kind of see, as you if you saw uh, Zeddy there, it is just really easy to make a single mistake while doing a uh, one of the tile puzzles. Because if you just step on one of them you don't want to step on, you suddenly have to jump on it three times in order to cycle it back to what you want it to be. It just, it's easy to lose a lot of time quickly on the tile puzzles. The auto scroller is faster next week. This is true. Actually, I don't remember this week, but we're going to find out soon. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, not that much faster. This doesn't look that faster to me. So yeah, this is what you're supposed to do in the auto scroller. Uh, you have to basically hit them. And this is the one, really the only area in the game where strafe is actually something you want to do in casual or otherwise. Unless you're playing blindfolded, in which case strafing is like the best thing you can ever do. <laughs> um, but yeah, you are supposed to do all that. It, it's looking like he's still going to have a decent lead after the auto scroller, but he is going to lose a lot of time. And as we'll see coming up, Zeddy's going to fill up that uh, meter so that he can just skip past all of it. Also, nice use of the straight for those those tiles there. They let him quickly get one without having to like jump around. Oh, and ooh, stops it briefly just to get past there, because <laughs> as there's a lot of places where you're not gonna get through chaos control fully, so you have to make sure in your routing that you get through everything you want with the chaos control. And all oh, with that, Zeddy's got the terminal. He's only about uh twenty or so seconds behind, maybe. It's a close game again. <laughs> and now we're on to Death Ruins. Death Ruins is fun. It's a fun and fast level. Oh yeah, so in this level, you'll see a lot of these uh, little bungee things that uh, are supposed to shoot you back and forth. But because we don't want to go back, we would like to just go forth. Uh, you can jump when they on the front bit of it, as you may have seen at the very uh, start of the level. You'll see Zeddy do here in a second. Uh, he jumps, you get on the first one, and then you just jump off. It's a really cool mechanic that they actually let you do that. Not just to set these. You'll see Dream do it again here as well. We just want to, we can just get straight on that rail. And this is a level where you see um, Egg Vacuum a lot more. Because this level is full of um, basically just the, sol the Black Soldiers and the Leeches. All of which just get sucked up as you run by um, the vacuum. It's also particularly more useful than a gun because the the um, vacuum will get all of the leeches at the, uh, as you go versus needing to shoot every single one of them. Omo Chao Gun can sometimes get those, but it's way more consistent. If you know exactly what enemies you need to kill and there's a bunch of them and you really can't afford to slow down to do it, then that's where uh, Egg Vacuum really... Uh, gets better than Omo Chao Gun or Shadow Rifle. And that's Death Ruins. It's just a fun, f quick stage. Perfect. As you may have seen Zeddy there paused after the Chaos Control. 
you're not aware, on the GameCube version of the game, sometimes after you use Chaos Control, it hangs you in the air in a, a bit because the GameCube doesn't load its areas as fast as, say, Xbox. For Xbox, it doesn't do that. But, so you would think then GameCube would just be a straight time loss because after using Chaos Control, you just hang in the air. That's just straight time loss. But if you pause the game, pretty much that removes all the hang time. If you pause right after it ends or right before it ends, it'll give the stage that one extra second it needs to load everything so that you can just get straight back into playing. And because we uh, time these categories using in-game time currently, and any other potential timing changes we're considering will, would still account for it, it's, um, doesn't lose that much time. Basically, because pausing doesn't advance the in-game time, which normally that's kind of, you know, it kind of should advance the time, but all we're doing here is just letting the consoles be equivalent because we can prevent a, mecha a mechanic that happens only in the GameCube version. Oh, maybe PS2. Don't play PS2. Welcome to version. the auto-scroller. Yeah, the arc. <laughs> yeah, the, um, it's just an auto-scroller. Fun fact, if we're not playing Glitchless, you can actually um, go out of bounds right near the start of the level. You basically just spin dash towards it. Well, I say out of bounds. There really aren't any bounds that you've gone out of, but we have yeah. collectively called it a glitch. That you basically just spin dash and you just don't hit a death plane and then yep. you just fall to the end of the stage. It's not even no. like Sonic Adventure 2 Battle where you have to go fast enough to pass the death plane. They're just straight up, you just go around the death planes, and then you get to the end of the level. Um, that's fun, but uh, due to community vote, this was determined to be a glitch. So it is not in the glitches category, and we gotta play this fun auto scroller. This is, uh, this is what I like to call fake FR, because it's literally the same kill planes as FR skip. Literally the we, same uh, stage layout as FR. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it is based on the arc stages in Song of Adventure 2 well. You can see with the level... Uh, the pathways and such. It's it's all based on it though. It's I don't know if it's I don't think it's exactly the same as FR, but it's the same ideas. You know. I I know a lot of people call it edgy FR skip. That's <laughs> that's what I've seen a lot. Uh, people called ed edgy FR skip. Let's go. Air, yeah, Perfect. we got Air Fleet coming up. Um, and Air Fleet is really fun. Air Fleet, when you just run through, go into the Gull Ring, great mission. So fun. Um, uh, again, this is just get to the Gull Ring. The rest of the levels in this game are just get to the Gull Ring. Uh, the only three that weren't were uh, Central City, the Doom, and um, that Matrix. Everything else is a good to the end level. So, um, this is a level that has a lot... I think this is the first level to really prominently feature the um, black oaks, the the uh, alien golems, and uh, they give a lot of hero meter. So, and they also don't get sucked up by the egg vacuum. So, as you might guess, the goal is the shadow rifle because the shadow rifle does one shot. So we get a lot of meter really fast, and we can use that to use some very effective uh, chaos controls. And you can, and you may notice he's being very careful. They're being very careful to make sure which enemies they kill and which ones they don't. Because once your meter fills up, it starts going down. And we want to use Chaos Control as efficiently as possible. So we skipped killing a bunch of them and waited until he only had enough when he killed that one single enemy. So he knew what he'd be skipping. And that happens a lot with the point routes. Um, you know which enemies to kill so that you get it at the right time. One thing you may notice with this level, um, I'm not sure how often it happens in Expert, but you can tech a lot of the doors in this level, because normally, when you reach these doors, if they don't open soon enough, their activation hitbox is too far away, then you kind of just get stopped when you run into them. But there's techs you can do to keep your momentum. If you homing attack into them at the just the right time, then you exit through the door really fast, or if you run diagonally through the door, just right, like you, or rather, run diagonally into it, because um, when you run diagonally into walls, you don't necessarily lose your speed, or the fact that you're running at top speed, it just kind of 
makes you glide against the wall. And you kind of want to slightly glide against the door in order to make it so you don't get uh, stopped. I guess you could say bonk, even though I'm not sure if bonk is really the proper word, but it's kind of the idea. We don't, we're trying to not bonk against the doors, and there's, a, there's two techs to do it. Homing attack lets you regain all your speed as fast as possible, while running against it lets you keep the speed you already have. Perfect. But it's just a fun stage to run through, kill all the enemies, and such. Alright, on to what's next? Is it, um, Space Cat? No, Iron Jungle. Um, Iron Jungle's up next. Uh, this is a relatively quick stage, if I remember correctly. I don't remember the expert version super well. This is a level where we'll probably see the Egg Vacuum. Because, as mentioned before, it one-shots all of Eggman's enemies, including the Shadow Androids. They also get one-shot by the egg vacuum, which means all you have to do is hold B and they all get sucked in. I think the only difference might be the lack of the uh, jumping vehicle, simply because you don't have a ship to shoot after. There are a few other differences as well. Like, there's no rocket there, you have to do a little bit of platforming. Uh, they, he passed through it when using Chaos Control. But, again, very tight Chaos Control route just to make sure you get to certain places. Like, you gotta skip a bunch of platforming by using Chaos Control where he did there. Would have wasted a lot of time, but Chaos Control lets us skip all of that. Also, fun spin dash. They want us to go down into the pit and fight a bunch of enemies. Uh, screw that noise. Let's just spin dash over it and get to the platform. Uh, here as well. Here he jumps onto the box to spin dash just because... There's a bunch of rings, and X is both spin dash and ring dash, light dash, so uh, you jump onto the boxes just to make sure you don't accidentally ring dash. Hmm. Alright, on to Space Gadget. Space Gadget is a interesting stage. Um, you got, like, gravity switch everywhere. And also, at the start of the level... Quite a lot of what is basically just auto scrollers, because you're just falling through gravity holes, and that takes a lot to start the stage. But despite that, it is a fun stage. There's a lot of fun techniques in moving around, especially once you get into the inner, um, the inside of the arc. There are a lot of fun passageways. I forget which way the expert mode route of the stage goes. I be believe it goes to the hero path. But I'm not sure. No, yeah, it's definitely Hero Path. I forgot, if you go to the Dark Path, which is possible, uh, the level is unbeatable. There's no, like, warp at the end, I believe. No, you have to go to the... I'm thinking, I think, the other way around. I think you have to go to the Dark Path. I don't remember Expert Mode. I'm, I played the normal game. Don't listen to me. We'll find out. We'll find out together. <laughs> It's like one of the routes you just can't go. I don't remember which one it is. Also, you'll see there's a secret chaos control orb back here. That orb, when you get it, fills up your meter as fast as possible. And you may notice he tried to build, he built a spin dash while in mid air in order to get back to the platform in order to control where his chaos control went. Ah, uh, that is right. So, okay, the dark path is the one where you softball. But if you were to just use the Chaos Control Orb and be done with it, then you would go straight to the uh, Dark Area, which would make you unable to beat the level. Which is why he had to build up that Spin Dash in order to get back to the main part of the stage, instead of using Chaos Control over the pit, so that he enters the Chaos Control Path that leads to the Hero Path of the level. Basically, if he had used Chaos Control immediately, he would have just... Uh, fallen over, and or he would have been unable to complete the level. But by uh, m moving around first, maneuvering around, he was able to go where he needed to go. You may also notice, as in this level, that he opened one of the key doors. Um, yeah, there. So in every level of Shadow the Hedgehog, there are five keys, and when you get all of them, um, every other time you play the game, the door will always open for you. Perfect. Often it's something useless, like a vehicle. A lot of the time. Or a gun, which is usually useless. There's like one tiny context where you might want a gun from inside a um, key door. But in this, some stages, like there, it's a shortcut. It's a portal 
to later in the level. Oh, uh, now we're on uh, everyone's favorite level, but for real this time, Lost Impact. <laughs> Um, as you see here, there's not a, as much of the um, auto scroll or turret sections in expert mode. They wanted to make it more just platforming. Not that it's uh, particularly hard platforming, but it's platforming. Though we are back to turret sections here. The turrets go way faster though, because this is expert mode. So the turrets just go really fast. And luckily, this is just get to the goal ring. We don't have to kill all the artificial chaos. <laughs> Though the goal ring is, on those right. black aliens. but the goal ring is a bit farther back than it normally would be. Um, normally, oh, it's at uh, it's right past a big drop, but in um, expert mode, you have to go past another turret section first before you get to where the goal ring is. This puts it a bit farther back, makes you have to go through all of the level essentially. And by all of the level, I mean all of the parts that don't have artificial chaos. Like luckily, we don't have to go right to the dead ends that have artificial chaos in them. Our, everyone's favorite level three for real this time, because <laughs> the Mad Matrix was in there too, and the Doom. I like I like Lost Impact. Good. Yeah, Lost. Oh yeah, in um, the glitch version, you can at the near the start of the level. You can get out of bounds and spin dash all the way to a later part of the level. And because Chaos Control exists, it will magnet you back onto the path. So you skip a huge section of the level by spin dashing out of bounds and then using Chaos Control to get back in bounds. It's really fun. And there's the goal ring. <laughs> Perfect. All right, time for everyone's actual favorite song, Gun Fortress. Yeah, Gun Fortress. Who doesn't love Gun Fortress? Gun Fortress is great. Gun Fight, Fortress like, is hey, one of the most fun speedrun levels, if I'm honest. Training. It's so fun. It. It's these big Once areas that you can just so run through and just keep going. You can see it here at the start of the level. Like, you just gotta keep running around stuff. It's, it's just... You'd think it would be a really slow level, but it's not. It's a it's a fast level, by which I mean you move quickly. It's it's a long level though. And this is the first of the final levels, right? The final of the stage sixes. Also, you can see a lot of spin dash high jumps here that skip a lot of sections. So sometimes you can use a slope to spin dash high jump. Sometimes just like hitting a like corner like that, like the top of that rail is enough to do a spin dash high jump. Uh, basically hitting the rail just immediate or the corner immediately puts all your momentum upwards, letting you uh, spin dash high jump just to skip all of that room, which normally would involve like jumping into a turret and killing a bunch of enemies in that side area before a pathway opens up and screw that noise. Let's just jump to the end like a true speedrun. And we'll see it again in this room too. We tried to go to the. He tried to do the double high jump, where because there's these two levels, and it is possible to jump all the way to the top, but uh, he didn't quite do it. Protect them. There he is. Also, uh, Zeddy has still been like right on Dream's tail. Right now, he's about looks like 25 seconds behind. Lost a few seconds since the big problem in Mad Matrix, but still very close. This still could be anyone's game. A single death. Could uh, swing all of it. Oh no! Yo, oh, the backup. Good recovery. Go. Right. <laughs> he tried to do the big jump, didn't quite make it, but then used the other rail that's there. Use your resource available. You dream ran all the way to get the lever when he missed it. But Zeddy, seeing that, might save him some time there. Also, in Gun Fortress, you have these weird parts with the camera that's like stationary. Uh, they're just kind of weird and awkward to move around. Also, as you may have noticed. Chaos Fever, yet again coming in handy here. You have the Shadow Rifle, which kills every enemy in one hit. And you have all the giant enemies, which can't just be killed by Egg Vacuum. And they all give you Dark Meter. So you're just constantly shooting, and it's constantly keeping your meter filled. And you have infinite ammo on the gun that kills everybody in one hit. It's just a really fun time. 
and it's really satisfying this view drum. That's it. Hold your position. No, stop. No, stop. Oh, and uh, there's Dream at the end of Gun Fortress. Up next is Black Comet. Hmm, perfect. It's gonna be another level where we see a good amount of the air saucer. Because there's this uh, death goop. Um, this is the layer of it all throughout the level, and if you touch it while you're not on an air saucer, you die. So, uh, use an air saucer. We can't just chaos fever our ways over it, because if we jump on it, we just die no matter what. It's a pit beneath it. Using the healing cannon to get a tiny bit of, he of points of being- oh, actually no, we keep it in this level. Oh yeah, it is a bit different. Uh, this is a difference between the uh, usual mission of the game, the hero mission for this level, and expert. You keep this healing hand for a bit. You get all those enemies, and then we swap. We get rid of the healing cannon. Another shadow box here. Get ourselves that shadow rifle. You're going to see shadow rifle a lot with some of these last stages, because, you know, the last stages of the game, they got all the big enemies. Also, a really fun spin dash high jump there. You're supposed to ride that platform up, and it's really slow, but you can spin dash jump over it, because any place they give you any kind of lip or uh, ramp is a moment to put all, take all your momentum and push it upwards. Also, another spin dash jump there. You're supposed to go all the way around and then jump over a pit, but we can jump into the wall, which is kind of sloped, and it pushes you upwards so you can go straight to the portal. It is a long stage. There's plenty of time to be saved. There's also a bit of chaos control here, as you may see on Zeddy's screen. There's a large acid river, and we don't want to go, or I guess death goop river, and we don't want to go into the death goop, so we can build up chaos control in order to jump right over it. Though we can't do that throughout the level, because there aren't, despite it being, you know, the alien comet, there's a lot more dark enemies than there are hero enemies. So, uh, not as much opportunity to fill up the meter, though. He's going to be using this river to fill it up. There's a lot of the laser aliens who disappear that's going to easily bring up his meter to full by the end. There's more than enough if you kill all of them. Also, fun fact, on an air saucer, um, or on any vehicle at all, if you fill up your meter, it doesn't actually activate fever until you get off the vehicle. So even though he's at full hero meter, he doesn't have to worry about it running out until the second he gets off of it which is going to be right as he gets into the portal. Behold, the ultimate power. <laughs> There's this big section here where we're supposed to loop around and jump onto different platforms going down. Uh, we can just, you know, jump down and then chaos control. That lets us skip all of that, and it also will end up skipping this acid river right here. And you may notice he stopped chaos control just to use it again. That is on purpose because uh, it just barely lets you keep enough to... Uh, get over, because otherwise it would just barely run out, and you'd have to go through the whole river section, and it's that part right there is a particularly long one. So being able to skip all of that is really, really useful. Ooh, Zeddy is using it a bit differently. Instead of uh, doing what um, Dream did, where he activated Chaos Control and then unactivated it, he just jumped onto the rail. He jumped onto the rail to get Oh, there. oh, oh no! Zeddy got... Zeddy, oh, so he's trying to uh, oh. jump over this pit using a spin dash jump. Problem is, though, when you home, usually you want a homing attack to just to get that extra bit of distance. But there's a booster at the bottom. There's a spring Perfect. that you're supposed to use if you have the um, air saucer. But the problem is, if you don't have the air saucer and you hit the spring, you end up hitting the death goop and then you die. Luckily, the checkpoint is right there. But that's and gonna lose him a bit of time that he can't really afford to lose right now. And also, luckily, that was just after the chaos control, so there was no meter management to worry about either. Right. But it's not as bad as it could have been. 
So now we're on to Lava Shelter. This is level we can see a lot of rails. And one thing you can do with rails is that if you spin dash onto a rail, you keep all of your speed and you bypass the normal rail speed cap. So um, you, you, you see that a lot in this stage. You just go through these rails really fast. And as long as you're pressing X to jump on the rail, then you get to maintain all of that. One difference between, um, another difference between Expert and uh, Regular Mode is that all of the lava generators get activated here by default, which means the level is harder because their level, the lava is higher than it would have been if you were playing the hero mission. And it is just a goal ring mission, so it is just get the end. Though, the goal ring is on the dark path instead of the hero path after the split, after the third generator. And this is another level with Egg Vacuum. So if you know the dark path of this level, after the fourth lava generator, there is a long vertical climb. Like, a very long vertical climb. And, oh no, he missed the thing! Or did he? Yeah. Oh no! Dream's on the hero path! There's no goal ring that direction! He has to kill himself! That's gonna lose a lot of time! That might have been just what Zeddy needs. Zeddy needed. Uh, and you know what's even worse? Remember I said that vertical climb? Dream doesn't have um, chaos control anymore. He's going to have to take the vertical ascent in the fourth generator room. He's trying to get as many enemies as he can. He's trying to recover it. I'm not sure if he can. As you'll likely see up ahead because I, I don't know if he's going to have enough points to do so. As you see, Zaddy just got past it, using that Chaos Control to run past it. He tried uh, to save it, so... There we go, and Zeddy has taken the lead! So now we get to see Dream make the climb. The climb in the lava shelter room. The climb the of room. shame. <laughs> the climb of shame! This waste, just by not having Chaos Control to skip through it, probably 45 seconds. Just on that alone, not counting the death. Maybe more than that even. It's a long climb. Well, he's past the climb, but Zeddy's now on to Cosmic Fall. So Cosmic Fall, another arc level, but now everything's falling apart. Also, there's an invisible platform there, by the way. <laughs> so you just jump off the um perfect the roller coaster thing a bit early and then there's just an invisible platform you can jump on to get to the first checkpoint faster or normally you'd have to wait for the platforms like he's doing here um also fun spin dash jumps there um you can just jump on that invisible platform and just get straight to the first checkpoint and that saves like 30 seconds also everyone's favorite part uh, the commentary before each level. <laughs> he's, he's wishing good luck to Dream. He can make that comeback. So, uh, Cosmic Fall. It's a, it's a weird level. It's, it's kind of claustrophobic, despite being, you know, a lot open for a lot of it. It just, maybe it's just me, but it feels claustrophobic. I know a lot of runners like this level. It's, it's never really sat that well with me. Also, we're going to jump off that roller coaster bit mid section so we can use chaos control early and it skips us past the entire next section up to the next checkpoint. Um, and Zeddy's gonna skip the checkpoint. That's gonna be tricky. This section can kill you. Ooh, he's getting slowed down, but good, good recovery. And spin dash and right to the next roller coaster, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. All right, right he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. Also, another chaos control orb, if you just know Dream grabs it. That's where we got it. So like, normally you get, you get enemies, but those blue orbs, they just give you chaos control. You just get full meter. There's dark orbs too, though we don't see those in this room. Yeah, if you notice, they're holding the satellite laser. Right. So the satellite laser, the way it works is that it's a, it's, it's a lock-in weapon, like when the lock-in missiles, but when you lock in on something, it just fires a laser from the sky. Um, but you can also lock onto things through walls, like switches, 
And normally behind the key door in this level is a switch that makes all these uh, ring lines appear that you see that makes the level significantly faster. Now you could just wait for the door to open and then hit the switch, but who likes waiting? Waiting's not fun. So you can just hit the switch through the wall in order to activate all the rings. And that just, it saves a few seconds, especially because you don't need any other weapons in the stage. Even before we discovered that satellite laser is slightly faster, um, there's, we still don't kill enemies in the stage. We get the chaos control orb. Dream oh, what just what? happened to Dream? Oh my god, that ring dash just completely destroyed him. This is not what Dream needs right now. It's not what he needs, he's losing it. And we're on to the second to last stage. Final oh, haunt. Oh, the final haunt is another just like run right through the level, do a bunch of fun stuff, kill enemies, get a lot of chaos control, and skip stuff with chaos control. Very fun. Uh, this is, by the way, not only can you do spin dash high jumps, you can also just do it with normal momentum. You may have noticed there, right at the end of the corridor, he jumped into a piece of the environment and just got fl flung upwards. Because the same momentum that spin dashes can use to give you vertical height, just normal running momentum can give you as well. Because once you're in the air, it's just momentum at that point. So real quick, I want to point out, if you notice Dream jumping there, that was so he could look down and watch to see if uh, if there was a platform coming up, uh, where that platform is, because depending on that platform that's floating around, you could shoot off and die, or get stopped by the platform, or just get the ring dash completely. Alright. Also, Zeddy is now at a solid minute 15 lead right now. Also, shout outs to everyone's favorite, the um, <laughs> the normal vacuum. Everyone's favorite. You gotta use it here. We don't use it in any of the other uh, speedrun categories, but you can't really get around using it here. Especially because we want to keep our chaos control meter, at least I think that's what it is. Unless uh, Zeddy didn't get enough meter. That might have been what happened, actually. Maybe Zeddy didn't get enough meter and wasn't able to skip it. No, 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 no. This is actually, no, he's doing it right. But we actually do want to save the meter, specifically for a part what? coming up. Spin Ooh, bad did spin not work out well. <laughs> not work what he wanted to do. Yeah, this part up here, this is what you... No, I'm not where I think we are. Okay, yeah, right up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, he didn't fill full meter, meter. He didn't kill any of the rest of those enemies. Because this is where we really wanted. This is another just big vertical room that we just completely skipped with Chaos Control. And even a bit more than that as well. We skipped the entire rail grinding section as well. Um, if we didn't have Chaos Control there, you have to kill all the enemies at the start. Wait for the platform to show up. Then slowly ride the platform up. And then, like, go through a bunch of platforms until you finally get to the door. Chaos Control lets us skip all of that. Ah, Dream's doing a different route. He is. Like. He's, yeah, he's using that Chaos Control early. Um, oh, and he's he's trying to regain Chaos Control. He is doing a different route. So he used Chaos Control to get past those lasers that Zeddy had to slow down and get the vacuum for. But he's getting all of these enemies in order to fill back up the Chaos Control Perfect. meter so that he can use it again. Oh, and he's trying to go for the um, damage boost. Yeah, damage oh. boosting through those lasers. And looks like that meter is filled back up. I'm not sure which way is faster. I didn't even know that there were those two routes for this level, but um, we'll see. But Zeddy's on to the last stage, the last way. This is normally the last story level. And we're going to skip half of it. Um, so there's a key door at the very start of this level. You know what it does? It skips half the level. It's just another <laughs> shortcut. And even better than that, we're not even going to use the door. We're going to jump over the door. Because, sure, why not? Yeah, they just put a hole in the ceiling. Put a hole in the ceiling. So the reason there is a hole in this... Oh, actually, we are just going through the door. Well, we could have. You could have just gone through the ceiling. Anyway. I guess it wasn't faster. I thought it was. But, um, in the other versions of this stage, um, those key doors unlock a cannon, which you can use to destroy the airships. 
because uh, I would guess there was once a mission to destroy the airship things, but they removed it in the final version, but the cannons are still there behind a key door. And those are the exact same bits of level geometry, so they just put a, um, a teleport there instead. But anyway, we're approaching the end. He's gonna be filling up Chaos Control. I, I don't really know how Zeddy can choke it out here, I think. It's all but one unless he falls in this pit. Nope. In part of this level, you're supposed to get Chaos Control everywhere because platforms to like go forward do not appear. And he's skipping a big amount with that Chaos Control. We're at the final section. This is just a run to the end now. All he's got to do is not get hit, not fall off somehow. And yeah, he's at the end, goal ring up ahead. Zeddy has won, he has gone first. GG's to Zeddy. Let's go Zeddy. Perfect. Good luck. Good luck. Right. Oh. I believe in you. Yeah, then here comes Dream. So he's on the last level as well, getting through here. Again, it's a lot of running through this level and just shooting while you run with a shadow rifle to try to get points when you need to. Problem is right there is the enemies don't spawn, but here they do, so shooting them as you can. And one of the really fun parts about Shadow is that you don't lose momentum when you shoot. You can run and shoot at the same time, and there is a very generous aim assist, which lets you kill enemies and go fast at the same time. It's very satisfying. And you get to see a lot of it there. Remember when I mentioned Chaos Control? When you run out, it still keeps you going until you're over a safe area. That whole room is deemed not a safe area, so you skip past all of it even though your meter runs out. Very efficient. And slowing down one bit at the end, um, one little kick, and there he goes, 110.40, about a minute 30 behind, but still a great run. That was so very close and back and forth. Great run from both runners. Great All race. Right. Okay. So. Hello. How y'all uh, feeling? Dream, if you, we have to watch this one afterwards. Oh yeah, you do. <laughs> there were a yeah, few. Yeah, that was. Wait, like, why do we need to watch it? Yeah. Uh, okay. It was pretty so, close. So first off, Zeddy crashed in Cryptic, Cryptic Castle. Castle. About two minutes into Cryptic Castle. Oh yeah. no, no, no! You're kidding. Yeah. That oh, happened. You still won? No. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Dream was me. Dream was ahead after Cryptic Castle for um. A lot. And then um, there was Mad Matrix where Dream Mad Matrix, fell. I, yep, I messed yeah. up the CC. Oh, no. He fell, he fell, so he ran out. He had to do the auto-scroller in Mad Matrix. That lost a lot of time, but he was still ahead after that. And I whiffed it in Lava Shelter. Yep. Right, and he stayed ahead about, it was consistently like 20, 25 seconds ahead of Zeddy into Lava Shelter where he um, failed a spin dash jump right before the third generator and used a Chaos Control to try to save it but ended up going, locking onto the hero path, which is a dead end. Oh. So he had to kill himself and then had to do the long vertical climb after the fourth generator. Oh, no. Yeah. yeah that, that I was mean, I was mistake. secretly hoping this would happen so that I could like win <laughs> after that crash. But like, I mean, that's that was the only way I could. Yeah. That... Oh, I uh, completely forgot. Cosmic Fall also on the light dash. I got hit by the platform and it sent me to my death. Yeah, that happened. You too. always need the check for the platforms <laughs> is it global cycle it, it's uh, not global cycle. i've had Wait, it not i don't know we'll it's gonna be global it. cycle because i think it was like depending on how fast i was like i was slower than normal and that's why i hit the platform maybe we'll have to look into that mm. but you always check right. always check <laughs> sometimes like if it's at the very tail end you can go and you'll hit it but you'll keep going past but depending on when you win for it, it might not have ended well, like it did. Yeah, that that made the big difference. I think Zeddy uh, still had probably the lead at that point. 
um, quite significantly because of the lo- having to climb up all of lava shelter for the generator room. But um, that really just sealed it. This sealed the nail in the coffin. That was the cosmic fall death. But it was a very close race. Yeah, you didn't die otherwise, right, Zeddy, besides your crash? No, I did. Yeah, I did die a few times. I, uh, there's that any, spring any major... right to, in, in the river right at the checkpoint. Yeah. Oh, Black Comet? Black Comet. I did that <laughs> twice. Oh, no. <laughs> Luckily, I think it was... I just opted to go around there to be safe. Yeah, you didn't, you didn't do that jump. You went the safe way. I couldn't afford it. Yep. I also lost time in a, I whiffed the uh, spin dash jump in Glyphic Canyon. Completely forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, that right and at then, the start. Yeah, right, the only that reason was, I caught up was because of Zeddy's crash. <laughs> yeah, that was right at the start. And um, Zeddy then took the lead for a while until Cryptic Castle, where you took that lead right back. And told Matt. So those were the big t- inflection points where Glyphic Canyon, Zeddy took the lead. Cryptic Castle, Dream took the lead. Mad Matrix. Uh, it got closer. Dream was still in the lead, and then Lava Shelter is when Zeddy then ended up retaking that lead. One thing I noticed: um, both you had different routes for Final Haunt. We had um, we probably had different routes for a lot of things. Yeah, that was probably... the one that particularly um, w- uh, was notable, though, because um, you did. You basically almost Zeddy almost completed a full meter meter of hero and then didn't kill any enemies and saved it until the vertical room near the end. Um, Dream used chaos control to get past the lasers and then built up meter again using all the enemies in the next room in order to then have chaos control to get through. So basically Zeddy used a uh, vacuum to get past the lasers and Dream used chaos control to get past the lasers. And I'm, is that a newer development? I, uh, I yes. Know uh, in the best case scenario, uh, it should be like 10 seconds saved if you do it right, but I don't think I did. <laughs> no. It, was, it, it, looked, it, time? Just, it did look a bit sloppy. Uh, yeah. 109.13 for Zeddy, 110.40 for Dream. Oh, yeah, no, I was talking about uh, Final Haunt. Where did you get for that? Uh, where can I actually see it on this layout? Let me just pop open this. <laughs> Because I got 240 or 254. Okay. I think I was right around there. Because I missed okay. the death boost through the lasers and I had to like go on the ground and do it. Uh, so that lost me some time. Let me take a peek at that time. I had a final haunt, a 251, even with that uh, death loop. Sorry, not death loop. <laughs> with the I damage. Say, I don't trail. remember you doing a death loop. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> did you yeah, invalidate your glitchless run? So, what did you say your time was? Because I had a two fifty one. Oh no, I was just curious, like if it was if it was significantly faster or not. But you said there was like problems. So. Yeah. Well, with the problems, I had a two fifty one. What did you have? I had a two fifty four. I think your, yours is faster. I just didn't have time to learn it. Gotcha. Hmm. I was curious if you were going to go for the digital circuit at the, <laughs> the little spin dash past the light dash. I didn't go. Oh, for no, it. I was like, no, no, no. I was no. like, no, no, no. Too risky. <laughs> How to lose the lead. <laughs> <laughs> well, I should have had the lead because I'm sure my yeah. Westopolis was faster. Almost positive. <laughs> uh, you had. Oh, no, I was making mistakes left and right. Pretty so much. Since you definitely. The castle. And then like you still had the lead after Mad Matrix. I don't remember what exactly the point was where it switched, but yeah, it was it was the uh, death on Mad Matrix. That is, isn't where the lead switched. It just yeah. got really close after that. Um, oh, okay, I will say, like for my run, like looking at my splits, uh, like I was this 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 is comparing against my personal best, which is the current record. Oh, it was Lava that crash Shelter. Had like two minutes. Yeah, Lava Shelter is where the... Um, point I was change. basically like right on it the whole time. So if that... I would normally be like five seconds behind my record in that case. That's crazy. Assuming these yeah. splits have done correct. You would have destroyed my me butt off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that crash was huge. You were a significant way into Cryptic Castle when you crashed as well. You were like about three-fourths of the way through the level, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, you were quite yeah, a ways it was, in. It was right crashed. after the Chaos Control. Yeah. 
that castle should sure do be cryptic. <laughs> uh, Zed, if you go up to Westopolis, what did you have for the time? Was it like a 140 uh, or 146? 146, okay. Because in the ideal scenario, it's like a 135, but I was nowhere near that. Let me pull up my... Uh, it doesn't really yeah, show. No, I, was, I was fumbling all about. All right, well, this was fun. Uh, good yeah. to know. I almost, almost beat you with the crash, but without the crash, I would have been destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. All right, thanks for hosting this. Uh, it's fun. All right. Well, I'd like to say there is an expert mode tournament coming in August. The full write-up's going to be in the Sacer Discord uh, tomorrow. Join it. Yep, that command works out as intended. All right, cool. So... Yay. Or, no, I think that's the, that's the Sonic Adventure. Whatever. There's a little there's a little button below the stream. Click that one instead. <laughs> I should fix this command. Anyways, uh yeah, expert mode tournament. That one will have a little more glitches. No chaos control glitch or wrong warps. And the races should be just as exciting as this one was. And I can't wait. But in the meantime, Zeddy, as the winner per the customs of this channel, who are we going to raid today? Oh boy. Oh man, who's even online right now? I don't know. Don't wait on me. If you find someone, go for it. I mean... I have no preference. I'm not sure there's any uh, Shadow Runners live, but... No, not know. usually. It's usually me right now. <laughs> I say to read myself, but I'm thinking I'm going to call it an early night. Yeah. That was a <laughs> sick race, though. Well, I mean... Indeed. For SA2, we've got, like, Emerald, Savic, Aura Ace. Mm. Uh, Aura Ace sounds nice. Yo, we're getting the Aura Raid. Let's go. All right, y'all. Flash Raid or Ace 66. That's... There's no three in there. Alright. Have a good one, everybody. Yeah, thanks for watching. May your...